What's up guys, in today's episode, I go over the Sinvertech N5 Plus pedal. Stay tuned. See all the gizmos? Yo, this thing is crazy looking. <laughs> What is up you guys, it's your boy Luis Torres and I have the Sinvertech N5 Plus pedal and huge shout out to Kevin Hoffman out in Washington State because he had this up for sale after I have been looking for one for about two years. So Sinvertech created or actually had a launch of this pedal back in January 2019. Um, I kind of caught wind of it back in that spring of 2019 could not find one for the life of me. And, you know, from time to time, someone would post a photo and I'm like, oh, let me see if that one's available. So I would check, you know, eBay. I would check Reverb. I'd go through Craigslist throughout the entire United States um, and nothing. You know, I just couldn't find one available uh, for sale. And the other day, because I actually subscribed to uh, the Sinvertech Instagram account, they had announced that they had stopped making this pedal because they're actually going to make a new version of it. And with that, I was just like, what are the chances? Yo, went on to Reverb, and again, Kevin had this on, on there for sale, and I picked it up. This thing is absolutely crazy looking. So let me just go over some of the options. So right out of the gate, you'll, you'll initially realize that it sounds a lot like a PV5150. So volume gain, bass mid treble, resonance, and presence. To me, that sounds like an absolute incredible amp right out of the gate. But there's also all these options that you can toggle around with. Uh, one toggle is you can use the vintage gain, modern gain, or high gain. You also have adjustments for the bass. So you can adjust it so it's heavier or not as heavy. You have mid, you have uh, an option uh, with a toggle, so it's high frequency mid or low frequency mid. Then you have these options, which are uh, tone intensity and gain saturation. So this thing, I was gonna run it as a preamp pedal and quickly realized that it actually is supposed to sound great out of a clean channel of an amp. If you guys notice right here, I have my Paul Reed Smith MT-15 on. The blue light indicates that it is on the blue channel. So let me go ahead, stop yapping, and get this guy plugged in. Before we begin, this episode brought to you in part by Presidente, La Cerveza de los Hijos. Um... <laughs> Que cuando uno es dominicano y puertorriqueño, tiene que beber lo que tiene que beber. Y esto es lo que estaba en la neverita. All right, so. Let's get this guy up and running. I will be using my uh, ESP E2 M2 Urban Camo. This one has EMGs on the bridge and uh, neck. And of course, I have it boosted with my 24 volt battery pack inside. And uh, let's hear what this thing sounds like. I'm coming out of my Mesa uh, 412 with Selection V30s and hopefully you guys will hear it and will fall in love with this pedal, even though they stopped making it. But if you can find one, get it. <laughs>
So guys, hopefully you were able to hear the difference uh, in the tonal changes when I was adjusting the mid, treble, resonance, presence, and was just working with the toggle switches. Uh, but here's one thing that I've never actually experienced. You see these two lights, uh, and those are, again, the gain saturation and the tone in density. So this toggle switch here, uh, when you toggle up, will actually reset itself back to the center, but you can change the option that that is. I don't know if you can, you probably can't see the, so it's going from green to red, right? You can kind of vaguely see that. And then down to the six o'clock goes from, the bottom light goes from blue to yellowish. So it's weird with one toggle switch, you actually have, uh, you can make adjustments to four different um, options that you have there. So. Uh, the only thing is, like I said, they stopped making this pedal, but they, it sounds like they're actually going to make a newer version. I can't imagine what they could possibly do to make this thing better. Uh, but you know, it's literally an amp in a little box. So, uh, so I'll put a link below to their Instagram account. They have a website and, uh, but I, again, I kind of feel like the best way to reach out to them is through their Instagram account. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button right here. Huge shout out to my boy, Chad. What's up, what's up, Chad? Uh, he's been talking to Dean Guitars to see if we can work something out together. So I'm super excited, but bro, you are the man. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And as usual, I will talk to you soon.